Welcome to this demo of the Generative AI application development experience with Amazon Bedrock IDE in the SageMaker Unified Studio. We're going to start by accessing with our single sign-on credentials. In this case, we are reading this directly from your identity provider. You can explore the different models that we have available from Amazon Bedrock by choosing the Generative AI Playground. In this case, we can choose an example text generation models where we can set input prompts in text or images combination. For the outputs, we can check the different parameters such as the latency uh, that we're getting in the responses, input tokens and output tokens, and we can compare different models alongside. We can add additional chat windows so that we can compare more than two models, and we can also set up inference parameters such as the temperature, top P or top K. We can also access the image and video playground. In this case, the image generation models or the video generation models can be tested with different prompts. We can also set up parameters. And in a few seconds, we can get the media for our prompts. If we go to the build options, we can start by creating chat applications. Note that we are working as part of a project where all the applications that we are creating are stored there. We can select a name for our application, a model that we want to use, system prompt for giving instructions to our system. We can also set up inference parameters and we can connect with Amazon Bedrock knowledge bases. In this case, we are using a web crawler, but we could also specify local files. So we can connect those to an embeddings model and a vector store that is created automatically for us. We provide a name and a description to our knowledge base. And after a few minutes, we are going to get our knowledge base ready. Note that we can also work with more advanced settings that are supported in knowledge bases. We can do the same with Amazon Bedrock guardrails. We can set up a name, a description. We can define different predefined filters and the strength that we want for each one of them. We can also go to advanced filters where we can actually set up denied topics by using natural language definitions. And we can also set up sample phrases for those denied topics. Finally, we can set up what is the message that we want the model to provide whenever it detects a violation of the filters that we have. Once we select our guardrail, we could also work with functions uh, from Amazon Bedrock agents, and we can modify our UI, in example, by changing the sample prompts that are provided to the users, the welcome message, and so on. Once we save our application, we have the option of testing it directly from our building console. We can know that the different outputs are coming from the knowledge base that we have configured before. Note that we can check for outputs that are blocked by the guardrails. We can also export our applications, which generates Platformation templates that we can use for deploying the resources in different accounts. We can also share our applications either with the users or groups that we have defined in our directory or directly by granting access to all the users in the domain provided with a link. After a couple of minutes, you can have this application link ready. We can copy the link and any user with access to this domain can directly open that so that it has read-only access to our application. You can think of business power users who could be using this link for accessing to predefined applications that were created by our, our application development. We can also create flow applications. In this case, we can set up different nodes using multi-agentic workflows where we can actually set up configurations for each one of the nodes and rely on typical features that we have in Amazon Bedrock, such as knowledge bases, prompts, guardrails, and more. We can set up conditions so that we can have more deterministic flows that change depending on the user's input. Note that 
Amazon Bedrock Flows creates a fully serverless endpoint for our application, so uh, we can right away test it with different inputs. In the same way that we work with flows, we can also work with prompts. We can set up prompts, define models and inference parameters, work with our prompt template where we can leave placeholders for variables. Once we save it, we can test it from the console. And if we are happy with the result, we can store different variants or versions of our prompts. Another feature that is important is the model evaluation. In Amazon Bedrock IDE, we can evaluate different models for specific tasks. We can set up what are the metrics that we want to evaluate and what are the data sets, either building data sets or bringing our own data. Once we have the result ready, we can read the report on the metrics that were generated for our evaluation job. Thank you for watching.